Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a really random haul. If you hear noises, all my dogs are here. So I don't exactly know how the lighting is right now. I mean, I can see myself in the viewfinder, but I won't tell until I go edit this video. And I don't know how the sound is, if there's an echo in this room. I really have to check back the video once I edit it. But this is my new little corner for the meantime. If you guys saw my update video, you know that I'm not home, that I'm in between homes right now. But I borrowed a little corner where I'm staying so that I can film videos. I tried my best to bring the holiday spirit to my little corner because it was just a blank wall with absolutely nothing. Remember this background, this setup is very, very temporary. I will only be here for a month and a half, but with all the videos that I have pre-recorded, I did want to put some up that weren't pre-recorded, like this one. Just to have current content in between videos while I'm trying to move, because you guys know I'm in the process of moving, and all that stuff. So do you guys like my corner? Oh, that's my coffee. <laughs> I threw it together in like five seconds, but bear with me if you don't like it. It's only temporary. So like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a really random haul. I went to Bath and Body Works, Urban Outfitters, and Target. I'm gonna start with Bath and Body Works. I have the big old bag. So, <laughs> okay, really exciting. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist in Dark Kiss. And so many of you guys know that this is my holy grail uh, Bath and Body Works body splash. But they discontinued it and I couldn't find it anywhere. For a long time I could find it online, but then they took it off and I couldn't find it anywhere. But they brought it back, and I thought that they brought it back permanently, but the lady at the store told me it was only like for this time of year, so they only have it around for the holidays. So <laughs> they had a sale going on at Bath & Body Works that it was buy three, get three free. So of course, now I have six. But I did give one to my mom and one to my mother-in-law, so this is the best. I went and I got six candles because they were on sale, two for 24. They used to be two for 22, I think, but they bumped up the prices. I never buy Bath & Body Works candles full price, absolutely never, because they're always on sale. So I got six candles. I got Mahogany Teakwood, just because it's in their new packaging. Every year they change up the packaging and the sticker, and this one has like a red candle. If you haven't smelled Mahogany Teakwood, it smells like a man. Like a man's cologne, like Hollister or something. The notes are Mahogany, Cedarwood, Oak, and a hint of Silvery Lavender. Of course, you already know I had to get Marshmallow Fireside. This is by far my favorite candle Bath & Body Works makes, but I like to light it a little bit more closer to the winter time. A warm blend of toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and creamy vanilla. And I agree, this does smell like marshmallow. It does have a sweet scent, but then it has like a woodsy, fiery scent to it too, which makes it not too sweet and not too like overpowering. I had to get leaves, of course. This is my ideal fall candle, the best candle in the fall time, in my opinion. The notes are a rich blend of golden nectar, red apple, and spiced berries. I smell all that. I smell the berries. I smell the apple. Uh, literally fall in a candle. Literally, literally. This is one that I discovered for the first time when I went to go, when I went shopping. This one is called flannel, and this is very reminiscent to like mahogany teakwood in the sense that. It kind of smells like a cologne, really similar to black tie, mahogany teakwood, like those type of fragrances, where they kind of smell like a sexy man. This smells like a sexy man's body wash, like Axe, almost. I know, really, really weird. It says, wrap yourself in a warm blend of bergamot, polished mahogany, and a soft veil of musk. Very musky, very manly. But my friend Stephanie says that this one doesn't really smell, like it doesn't make your whole entire house smell. So I'm probably gonna have to burn this um, in my future home in like a smaller room. I had to, of course, get something with pumpkin and cinnamon in it. This is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I love anything with cinnamon, any candle described as cinnamon. I love it, especially pumpkin. This smells like Thanksgiving morning, honestly, like Thanksgiving morning with the pumpkin puree. That's definitely what I can smell mostly is pumpkin with like a hint of cinnamon. Amazing. This one is really good. I actually smelled the pumpkin cheesecake one and I didn't like it at all. It smelled like straight up cheese in my opinion. <laughs> no offense to anybody. I know Manny loves that candle, but to me it smells like cheese. This was my favorite one that had any pumpkin in it and the pumpkin pie one was amazing too. The candle that I absolutely fell in love with out of all of them. It like blew my socks off. I had never smelled it before. I don't know if this one is new to this year, but it 
blew my mind. This is Radiant Red Maple. It's my favorite one that I've discovered so far this year. It says it has crisp red Macintosh apples, smoky woods, and a hint of toasted marshmallow. Of course, anything with marshmallow. I cannot describe this scent. It's sweet, but it's woodsy and fresh at the same time. I have to go back and get a bunch more because this is my newest obsession out of all the ones that I bought, except of course, mahogany teakwood and um, to uh, marshmallow fireside are my top two favorite candles. This one has officially become third place out of all the candles they have. Amazing, I have to go back and get more. Smell, radiant red maple, it will knock your socks off. I hope that it burns like strong, like that I can really smell it throughout my house. Not that I'll be burning these candles anytime soon. All right, so let's move on to Urban Outfitters. I got a couple things there. By the way, I have this really random collective haul to share with you guys because I was living in Key West and there is not a damn store in Key West. So when I came back to Miami, I was like, I have a shopping now, not just online. I got this shirt there and I love Urban Outfitters, but they're very, very pricey. Like that store is so pricey and I'm used to like Forever 21 prices. So I don't shop there too often, but I love the style. It's, it's my favorite. I got this shirt. Look how cute this is. Isn't it beautiful? It was like $30, 29. It's so cute, but I love what it says. It's like a muscle tee and it says, for the moon never beams without bringing me dreams, which is Edgar Allan Poe. Even though after watching the following, Edgar Allan Poe gives me nightmares, but still. Then I got this and I know this is really random, but <laughs> I got healing stones and it just says, keep these healing stones with you to balance and revitalize your energy. You guys know that I've had like really bad anxiety recently and just a little bit stressed out. And I kind of want to try like natural remedies, you know, not so much like my anxiety medication. I want to try to like find peace within myself. That sounds really stupid to some people, but um, this is really cool. It's just like a little book and it has all those stones in here. Now, I don't know if this is gimmicky or super fake, but I just think it's it's really nice. And um, it has amethyst, which promotes peace and removes negative energy. You have aventurine, aventurine? Good luck and money, gets rid of sad emotions. Soda light, good for creativity and deep thinking. And it has a bunch, like this one is Crystal Quartz, good for meditation and diseases. This one I like, promotes self-awareness and self-love. Unikite, I don't know how to say these words. This one I need, orange cal calcite. Balances emotions and removes fear. Anyway, this was $12 and I thought it was nice. Something that, I don't know, will bring a little bit of good things to me. So I got that and then I got this for my keychain. I've always wanted like a little stone on my keychain and I thought this was awesome. This is a quartz, like a quartz stone. And on the back it says, quartz has always been associated with the movement of energy. It is said to dispel negative energy while enhancing positive energy. Quartz is believed to enhance spiritual and personal growth. So I really like that, I think it's pretty. And then the last thing I got at Urban Outfitters was this, this was $6 and I was obsessed with it when I saw it. It's a little elephant, like I love the pattern on this and I love elephants, I have elephants all over my house, I love them. So I thought this would be nice to like put my healing stones in and put them like in, in my living room or something, I don't know. I bought this to like lay my healing stones. It comes with a little bag, so I don't know if I should just keep them in the bag. I don't know, if, do you guys know anything about healing stones? Do I keep it in the bag? I don't know. So that is everything I got at Urban Outfitters. Let's talk about the stuff I got at Target. That percent off. Oh, I don't have a red card. So I don't exactly know what's happening, but I've seen Star Wars everywhere. Everywhere I go, like no matter what store it is, I see Star Wars everywhere. And I'm not complaining because I freaking love Star Wars. So when I saw this and nearly flipped my shit, this is a mug that I got at Target. I love mugs. I like collect them on the down low but I love weird, beautiful mugs, and this to me is beautiful, all kinds of beautiful. It's Darth Vader, I don't know if you could tell. Since it's all black, you can't really see the detailing, but it's a mug with Darth Vader's face on it, and it's so cool. Like, for your coffee in the morning, that's, that's cool. And then um, at the Target that I go to, there's a Starbucks inside the Target. So, my best friend Amelia was like going crazy over this mug. She's like, we have to go to Target because they have such a beautiful mug at Starbucks. 
And when I saw it, I fell in love with it too, and I bought one as well. And look at this gorgeous little mug that they sell at Starbucks. It's like a little Starbucks thing. But it's like a mermaid mug. Can you just, can you, can, can you just see this? Can you see this? Don't you just want to feel up on it? It's so classy and beautiful. I almost don't even want to drink out of it. I want to use it as a decoration. Then I got this shirt that I'm in love with. Um, the Sandlot is one of my favorite movies. It's a classic. And this shirt was just staring at me at Target. It says, you're killing me, Smalls. And he's my favorite in The Sandlot. This little chubby cute boy, freaking love him. You're killing me, Smalls. I'm always saying that to people. So I felt like it was necessary. Me and Danny always say that. You're killing me, Smalls. My favorite candles are Bath & Body Works candles. I think they are the best, but they are a little bit pricey. And I find that the um, signature, so signature soy candles sold at Target are really, really good. They're soy candles, so they're better for the environment. They burn a lot longer than regular like wax candles. And they're so much cheaper. These candles are $10. I got them on sale for eight bucks. Um, it's like their new fall candles. These are signature soy, like I said. So I picked up pumpkin cheesecake. And unlike the pumpkin cheesecake, from Bath and Body Works. This one smells delicious. It has like cinnamon in it, pumpkin. I already started burning it. It smells amazing. The only thing I despise, Porter stop. The only thing I despise about these candles is that they're two wick candles as opposed to three. So they burn horribly. Once they start burning and they start going down, they have like the walls stay and they just burn so ugly. They don't burn evenly all the way down no matter how long you leave this on. It's it's annoying, but for $8, I'll take it. This one is really strong. And then I got this one, which is cinnamon pumpkin muffin. I like this one just a little bit more. It smells like pure cinnamon, pure cinnamon. It's delicious. I definitely recommend checking this out. Actually, I'm burning one of these right now. This one is apple orchard and delicious. I smell like apples right now. I also went to Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I went to Barnes and Nobles and I picked up three books. And I love reading. I love reading so much. One of them is technically not a book, actually. I'll show you that one first. So this is a journal. And I got this at Barnes & Nobles. It's called The Grass Is Green Enough. A guided journal for positivity and fresh perspectives. This is amazing. I haven't started using it yet, but it's amazing. It's pretty much a journal that you can write in every single day. Like, take the time out of your day every single day and just write in, like, two pages of this. So it starts with chapters. And, like... Chapter one is positivity. When you turn the page, it has a quote here and it says, a pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity, an optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. And then it asks you on this side, like what does the saying on the opposite page mean to you? Do you generally see yourself as a pessimist or an optimist? How can this sentiment help you develop more of a positive attitude? And you just write and then everything is, like every page is different and asks you different questions. See like this page is, this right here and it says record your most prominent negative thoughts throughout the day and write them on the glass half empty below and then it says now take a more positive perspective and reword each thought on the glass half full see like this page says name the negative forces in your life what do you believe is the best way to handle each one i just think it's a really really cool journal it gives you really positive quotes it's just something that you can look at every day it was like $12 at Barnes and Nobles, and I think it's good. You should pick it up. The grass is green enough on this side. And then the last two books I got um, were not like fiction or anything. I love YA novels. They're my favorite to read. I don't care if they're childish or whatever. I love like young adult, like romantic novels. Love them. But I decided to pick up two, no two books. This one is very, very popular. Everybody's reading it right now, which is why I wanted to pick it up because I want to see like what the hype is it says it's the well it's called the life-changing magic of tidying up the japanese art of declutter and organization i love giving things away donating things just getting rid of things that i don't use on a daily basis i love doing it so i feel like this book will just really kick that into gear even more and then this was a book recommendation um from my sister's best friend michelle this is like her favorite author which i'm pretty sure he just recently passed away this is dr wayne w dyer He's like a psychologist, I want to say. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know anything about this guy, but he is her favorite author. And she told me that this book changed her life. It says, The Power of Intention. Learning to co-create 
your world your own way. Dr. Wayne Dyer has researched intention as a force in the universe that allows the act of creation to take place. This book explores intention, not as something you do, but as an energy you are a part of. We're all intended here through the invisible power of intention. This is the first book to look at intention as a field of energy you can access to begin co-creating your life. It's a book of intention. So I'm really excited to read this right now. I'm actually reading a book that my friend Sarah lent me. So I will be reading this one after. I'm sorry this video is so long. So that was everything I got. Please be nice about this setup. It's only temporary, but I feel like this, you might not like it, and or the lighting might be off, but I'm trying my best to work with this. This is my little corner, this is all I've got. By the way, this says hello fall, and I got it at Target. I got this at Target, this pumpkin at Target, this at Target, this was a dollar, this little tree, and then this vase at Target when I went shopping. <laughs> I decided to get like a little background like stuff. So, and I also got these Christmas lights at Target. So that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any of the products I've hauled. If you like them. Like, if you have any of these things, let me know your thoughts on them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.